Adam, finally, you get to play Bowman. Uh, it's interesting how this match is sort of come first, first circle, because whenever um, Bowman came on to the New British Empire, my first match with him was a number one contenders match. How fitting that you're here playing Bowman, the number one contenders match. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I, I don't know how you're feeling, but yeah. Yeah, the build up to this has been uh, a long way. Um, and I... This is this is definitely the biggest uh, challenge I've been put up against in singles so far. Um, Caleb's one of the most respected players out there, um, and you know I, I, I'm going into this like I do every match. I I intend to win, but no matter what, I know uh, I'll keep it close. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, this is exactly why I got into these leagues to begin with, is to play play trivia with people at, at Caleb's level. So. Let's get this going, and uh, you know, no matter what happens, uh, happy to be here. Caleb's, uh, you're great people, but Adam is Adam isn't going to be the next champion. He'll be going up against Jake because, as always, the Empire will rise. I have been wanting to work with Caleb Boatman in movie trivia singles since we met last year, and now we get to do it, uh, and it's very fitting that it is up against maybe one of the hardest people. Boatman will have to play this year. Uh, and we have uh, been working very, very hard to make sure we win this one or at the very least keep it as close as we possibly can because Adam is no joke. Uh, and uh, I think I think we've got a good chance uh, to compete in this one. Adam, you're this year's model. You're really good. Uh, not taking anything away from you. But I said this to Boatman right before we got on call. We're going to show you what Old Fashioned can do. Uh, go ahead, Boat. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm kind of in a lose-lose situation here. Because if I lose, I lose. You know, that's, that's what losing is. Uh, but if I win, I beat Adam, which is, like, not fun because Adam is, like, super-duper nice. Like, he's legitimately one of the nicest people. Uh, so I'm – and he's a great player. So no matter what happens, let's just have a fun match. Hopefully this works out good. Uh, I haven't been here in a while, so hi, I'm Caleb Lobobo. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Movie War Zone Trivia. And tonight we got a barn burner for you. It is a number one contenders match, as you've seen. It's Caleb Boatman versus Adam Collins. Uh, Boatman, the, the 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 mainstay, he's steadfast. He's one of our greatest players. Adam taking the league by storm, making a lot of great players nervous this year. Uh, Tim, what are your thoughts going in? Yeah, I don't know too much about Adam, um, other than the like obviously the matches he's played so far this season. Um, he's been playing really, really well. He is the up and coming star. It's going to be really interesting to see how that works with uh, you know Boatman. It's going to be a, a good match. It's I'm excited. All right, title match against Jake Mayer going down the line. Without further ado, let's bring in our players. Introducing first with a record of three wins and zero losses. It is Adam, the Nomad Collins. Evening, gentlemen. And his opponent, with a record of five wins and one loss, it is Caleb, Little Boat Boatman. Okay, now that we have our competitors in the ring, let's get started with round one. You guys know how it works. Whiteboard round, eight questions. Uh, break down your answers, verbalize your answers. Uh, hands on screen at all time. Uh, if you get a perfect round, you do get that bonus question. And remember, throughout the match, you have three repeats and one opportunity to challenge. So without further ado, if you guys are ready, we will start with question round one, question one. And the first question, in the category of comedy, in what 1999 movie does Goldie Hawn play Steve Martin's wife? Tim, uh... What movie couple would you replace you and Maggie with? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, I don't know. Does like real like actors or like four? I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Three, two, one. Uh, Caleb. Oh. Uh, uh, the out of towners. And Adam. Heartbreakers. Wrong. The out of towners is correct. All right, guys, your next question is in the category of horror thriller. Which 2002 thriller features a creature from West Virginia folklore? 
I'm going to keep my mouth shut on this one. I don't want to give anything away. That's fair. That's fair. I'll tell you why after. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, pens down. Uh, Adam. The Mothman Prophecies. Caleb. I said Urban Legend, which is wrong. Adam tied it up there. Mothman for Prophecies, big chunk of that film in Pittsburgh, and I have a lot of good stories about Richard Gere being jerked to the locals. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> uh, question number three in the category of family films. In Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Fam Factory, the first golden ticket is found in which country? Have you ever traveled out of the country, Kirk? I have, um, but I never found any golden tickets. That's too bad. Believe it or not. That's too bad. Have you ever visited a chocolate factory? I have. Five, there. four, three, two, one. Uh, we'll start with Caleb. Germany. And Adam. That is correct. Germany. 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 Yep. Okay, guys, your next question is going to be in the category of musicals. Who directed Grease? Do you guys like slime? Because my dog just like stuffed it into the you do any... interesting conversations happening. Do you do any racing for pinks in high school, Tim? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. No. I was in Grease. <laughs> there you go. Five. Four. This is a lot more interesting. Three. <laughs> Two. One. Pens down. I don't remember where we were, so we'll start with Boatman. I just wrote the words and the letters M I. I couldn't even think of it. <laughs> okay, and Adam. I just wrote the name of a good director, Stanley Kramer. Uh, also incorrect. We were looking for Randall Kleiser. That rings a bell. Yeah, vaguely. Mm -hmm. All right, gentlemen. In your next question, the category of recent releases. It knives out. What happens to Marta anytime she considers lying? Um, I believe someone famously said that this was the best screenplay of what did he say the decade? I think he might have said the decade. I've heard and ever and everyone laughed at him. <laughs> that 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 person was Caleb Coho. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, let's start with Adam. She vomits. And Caleb. Uh she puke slash vomits. That is correct. <laughs> All right, guys, your next question is in romance. Who plays Martha, who just wants to get married but can't seem to find the right guy in 1996's Mr. Wrong? Uh, have you... As a... Good, I'm sorry. I was just going to ask you if uh, you want to get married but can't seem to find the Guy, but... I, was, I was gonna say I've been uh, referred to as Mr. Wrong on multiple Four, occasions. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Caleb. Uh, my mom's favorite, Ellen DeGeneres, and Adam. Ellen DeGeneres. Both are correct. All right, guys. Uh, your penultimate question in the category of drama. What country does the zookeeper's wife primarily take place in? If there's one thing that the Rona has ruined, my wife misses going to the zoo. You can social distance at a zoo. You could, but I don't think they want us there. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's closed, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, we'll start with Adam. South Africa is incorrect in Caleb. I said France. Also incorrect. Looking for Poland. Mm. I know it was one of the two. <laughs> All right. The German occup occupied places. Your final question is in classics. Who stars opposite Jane Fonda as uptight lawyer and newlywed Paul Bratter in 1967's Barefoot in the Park? <clears throat> it's funny because I uh, 
haven't heard of like half these movies, but they're still answering the questions correctly. It's interesting. That's, that's, why why they're here. They're, that's why they're here. And I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, we will start with Caleb. Uh, Robert Redford. And Adam. I said Rock Hudson. Robert Redford is correct. So uh, Caleb takes the one point lead at the end of round one. So it is uh, five to four, Caleb, if I'm correct. Yes, that's what I have. All right. Okay, gentlemen. So uh, Caleb taking that one point lead into round two. Uh, let's bring up the real wheel for round two. You guys know how this works. You get a spin, uh, you could take it, or you could do a respin. If you respin, uh, you got to take what you get, and uh, obviously, if you land on opponent's choice, you're stuck there. Uh, Tim, you want to go ahead and read off the uh, categories for tonight's match? Yes, the categories on tonight's wheel are Disney Animation, 1980s, Oscars, Directors, Steven Seagal, Sci-Fi Comedies, Stephen King, and War Movies, and as well as uh, Spinners and Opponent's Choice. And just for the audience, uh, Disney Animation Oscars are Caleb Strengths. And Stephen King and Steven Seagal are Adam Strings. So uh, you are in the lead, Boatman. Would you like to spin first or second? Uh, I will defer. All right. So let's go ahead and bring Brooklyn in. All and right. Go ahead and give it a spin. All right. Adam, your spin is away and it lands on war. Do you want to keep that or spin again? I say, yeah. yeah. I, we think we had, we had talked about respinning in this scenario. So, yeah, I could deal with war, uh, but let's give it one more try. Yeah. Okay, we are spinning again, and it lands on opponent's hmm. choice. So well, we will bring in Mr. Coho, guys. Again, the categories that you can choose from on tonight's wheel are. Disney Animation, 1980s, Oscars, Directors, Steven Seagal, Sci-Fi Comedies, Stephen King, and War. Do we want to do Oscars, or do we want to give him War since he spun away from that? I mean, he didn't sound too disconfident in War. Uh, so, do we want to give him Oscars? I think, I think we stick with the original plan. Let's give him Oscars. Okay, give him Oscars. Okay. All right, so Adam, you'll be answering five questions of the category of Oscars. Uh, Tim, you want to go ahead and read Adam's questions? Absolutely. Okay, Adam, are you ready? Yes. <clears throat> okay, your first question in Oscars. Who wrote and performed the Oscar-nominated song Father and Daughter from the Wild Thornberries movie? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Paul Simon, B, Bob Dylan, C, Art Garfunkel, or D, Stevie Wonder? A, Paul Simon. That is correct for one point. All right, your next question in Oscars. Who won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar for their work in the 1955 film Mr. Roberts? Multiple choice, please. All right. Your options are A, James Cagney, B, William Lowell, C, Jack Lemon, or D, Anthony Quinn. C, Jack Lemon. That is correct for one point. All right, Adam, your next question in Oscars. What is the only Wes Craven directed film to receive an Oscar nomination? Hmm. I have to Five. take that swing. Um, music and lyrics. That is incorrect. Caleb, chance for the two-point steal. Music of the heart. Oh, God, yeah. That is correct for a big two-point steal. All right, your next question, Adam. 
which actor appeared in back-to-back Best Picture winners for movies released in 2011 and 2012? Uh, John Goodman. That is correct for two points. Taking the lead once again with that question. And your final question in Oscars. How many acting nominations did Jack Nicholson receive for movies released in the 1970s? Repeat the question, please. All right, that's Adam's first repeat. How many acting Oscar nominations did Jack Nicholson receive for movies released in the 1970s? I'll take multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options are A, three, B, four, C, five, D, six. Four. That is correct for one point. I should have just said it. <laughs> All right. So at the oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's okay. After uh, after his round two, uh, it's Adam is up nine to seven. If I have that correct, that is what I have as well. So Boatman, uh, Adam uh, navigating his way through it pretty well, but Boatman to get that two pointer has a chance here to uh, rack some points on if he gets a good spin. So uh, here we go. Here is your first spin, Boatman. And it lands on Spinner's Choice. Oh, really? Directors, okay. think, right, Boat? Yeah, directors. We'll directors. All right. Okay, so Boatman taking his strength of directors. All right. Good. Your first question, category of directors. John Frankenheimer directed the sequel to which Best Picture winning film? I'll take the multiple on that. Is it A, The Sting, B, The French Connection, three, Midnight Cowboy, or four, In the Heat of the Night? I'll say In the Heat of the Night. That is incorrect, Adam, for the one point steal. Uh, uh, French Connection, the sequel to that? That is correct. One point steal. Uh, question number two in directors, Bowman. What was the final film directed by John Singleton? I'm going for abduction. That is correct for two points. Uh, emphasis on abs because Taylor Lautner, abduction. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Which director known for directing Bond movies was at the helm for the Audrey Hepburn thriller Wait Until Dark? Terrence Young. That is correct. And Boatman takes the lead on that question with two points. Uh, your fourth question. Who directed Memoirs of a Geisha? Rob Marshall. That is also correct for two points. And your final question. Who directed Zombieland? Ruben Fleischer. That is correct for two points. So going into round three, uh, Caleb is the lead with 15 points, followed by Adam at five. But now we go into ten. the pick your poison. Uh, I'm sorry, 10. Yeah, my fault. Uh, 15 to 10 with Boatman in the lead. Uh, we will go in now to round number three, your pick your poison round. Uh, the uh, players have the opportunity here to pick from these categories. Oscars, Stanley Kubrick, musicals, animated, crime, Coming of age slash teen, comedies, and 90s. They will pick their one, their two, their three, their four, four pointer in those categories. And we will be right back with those choices. All right, everybody. Uh, our players have selected their one, two, three, four point questions. Uh, Boatman is going with one in comedy, two in coming of age, three in animated, and four in Oscars. Well, Adam is going one Oscars, two comedy, three 90s, and four Kubrick. So, uh, Adam is trailing uh, Boatman at the moment, so we will start with him. Uh, his one-point question in the category of Oscars. Uh, Adam, your one-pointer. 
Who won the Best Actor Award for The Theory of Everything? Eddie Redmayne. That is correct. One point. Your two-pointer in the category of comedies. What is the name of the Q-like character played by Michael York in the Austin Power movies? Basil. It's Basil. Do you have? Can you give me any more? I, I know his name is Basil. I don't have a last name. It's your question. If it were up to me, I would give it to him. He he knew yeah, the name. Ba yeah, ba yeah, we didn't specify He's, first the last yeah. name, so Basil was his name. So we'll give you the two points on that. Yeah. All right. So you're still behind by two at this point. So for the lead, we're going to go into your three-pointer in the category of 90s. Which Tony Scott romantic thriller stars Kevin Costner? Romantic thriller? Um, repeat the question. Sure, that's your second repeat. Which Tony Scott romantic thriller stars Kevin Costner? The only thing I can pull isn't very romantic, but I'll say the negotiator. That is incorrect. Unfortunately, the correct answer is revenge. Okay. So uh, we'll go to your five-point question in the category of Kubrick. Four. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, four-point question. If you uh, hit this one, you uh, go back over to Boatman and avoid the TKO. If you miss, Boatman does win by TKO. Mm -hmm. So your four-pointer in Kubrick. In the killing... What is the name of the horse that the crew plans to shoot? Hmm. I have one repeat left, right? That's correct. Okay. I'll take it. All right. Your final repeat in the category of Stanley Kubrick. In the killing, what is the name of the horse that the crew plans to shoot? Five, four, Dark Star, three. and your winner by way of technical Great knockout, game. Caleb, the little boat boatman. The correct answer was Red Lightning. You're on the right track there, Adam. Uh, so we will go to post match interviews now. Uh, we will start with our winner, Caleb Boatman. So we'll bring in his uh, manager. All right, Bowman, uh, oh. that's a big match. I know I know how nervous you were going into this. Uh, that's a big win for you. Uh, how are you feeling after uh, taking out Adam, giving him his first loss? I want to go take a nap. Um, um, I, I'm hyperventing a little, hy hyperventilating a little bit. Um, I feel really good about this. I don't love that I got spinners and opponents' choice because I would have liked – because I studied a lot. For those two categories, and now I watched Mark for Death and Under Siege for nothing. Uh, so I just hate everything, but also I'm happy I won. Um, Adam's a fantastic player, uh, he's he's one of the best, uh, of this kind of rookie crop that uh kind of came post tourney but pre now. And he's he's an excellent player, he's going to completely destroy everybody in the tourney. Um, because he, he's just a fantastic player. Just didn't go his uh, way tonight. But I'm happy to bring one home for the Kingsman. I'm happy to now go play for the title twice, uh, and let's see how uh, I can do against Jake. Um, um, what happens? Uh, Coho, I'll let you talk. You're, you're a very good manager. Thank you. We did it. Uh, Adam Collins, you are Frankenstein's monster unleashed upon the league in the best way, dude. You freaking, that was the most anxious match I've ever sat and managed. Uh, every question, every time, uh, like that was, 
I was so anxious the entire match. Uh, I'm so happy that I was able to pull that out. But like, I've never been more worried about a competitor than I have been Adam Collins. Uh, so that you played a great game. Do not feel bad whatsoever, man. You 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 stretched us to our limit. Oh, look, it's Jakey. Oh, it's Jakey. Oh, I, I, was, hey. I was just I was just about to ask you, Boatman. Uh, you got Jake on the horizon now, going for a title. I know you're hungry after losing the team belts. Uh, honestly uh can i just say one thing jake and then i'll let you uh so my thing is i've been wanting to play jake in singles for like the longest time so take title out of it take the team match out of it take all that i'm just very excited because i i think this is going to be an excellent match jake is an excellent player i don't want to toot my own horn but i think i'm an excellent player i think this is a match that's going to go down to the wire i'm just excited to just participate in this match because it's going to be awesome, especially like all five rounds. Like let's, let's do it. May the best player win. Let's do this. Yeah. You don't have to take your own horn. I think you are an excellent player. Um, I do need to shut Phil up because apparently I've gotten lazy with my singles belt. So let's see right. how the match goes to him. Uh, yeah. Um, listen, I really right. want all to right, Jeff Lebowski. defend this belt means a lot um, to play you. This is going to be the most incredible thing. We've always wanted to play each other one-on-one, -on -one, and I look forward to it. Uh, this is going to be interesting, yeah. I, I, I somehow beat Jeremy. Maybe I can somehow beat you. But you go I'm make a white Russian and uh, put on your bathrobe and kick back a little bit, a little bit longer. Little bit longer. Oh, 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 we're, we're faces. Be nice. Be nice, co -host. Stop. Stop. Bad co -host. All right. All right. Bad co -host. All right. All right. So the match is set. It's going to be uh, Jake's first title defense. Is this your first defense? Yeah. It was first yeah. defense. And it is going to be against Caleb Boatman. It's written in stone now. It's going to happen. Uh, good luck to you both, gentlemen. I know it's going to be a fantastic match, and I'm excited to see it. But let's go now to our unfortunate runner-up tonight, uh, Adam. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of. You had a great run up to this. Uh, that spinner opponent's combo is tough to beat for anybody. Um, it's always a dumb question after a loss, but what are your thoughts? What are you feeling uh, after this match? Of course, it's a little disappointing, but there's also a sense of relief. You know, had I pulled this off, then I would have had a title shot and I already was feeling a lot of pressure. You know, there's kind of a relief that comes with getting a, your first loss when you're on a run like this. And to have it be against someone like Caleb is something I can definitely live with, especially under the circumstances of round two. That was a tough luck of the draw. And uh, the only thing I gambled was that Wes Craven answer. But even if I checked a multiple choice and gotten the point, he still would have won. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, Caleb's going to do great in his next match. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to make a name for myself in the tournament. Um, and I just hope I have better luck getting my, my strengths once in a while. That'd be cool. <laughs> I, know, I know. I know you're hungry. I love the, the, the strengths you come up with. I know you're hungry to see this. And I'm, hopefully we'll get to see this soon. Uh, but Brooklyn, how are you feeling about your, your man's performance tonight? I mean, yeah, Adam's performance is really good, but I think um, um, I've had a – yeah, to sort of delve into things, I've had one of the worst weeks I've ever had mentally. Um, I've had more anxiety attacks than I want to admit, um, and I've failed a lot of people in this community and, um, and in this faction and just in this channel overall. Um, I don't want to take away anything from Caleb's win because it's incredible. I'm glad that he was able to do this in a faction that wasn't run by me. Um, and I got to leave as a manager. The new British Empire is done. Um, it's better that I'm just not here because then the haters, because there are there are haters out there that, that just don't want me around and they're probably happy that I'm gone. Um, that they're just like now people don't have to say well you know brooklyn isn't here why why isn't he here for your call because now now people who are in my faction can be brunt by better people um i'm just i feel i feel very i've taken this loss harder than i should i just feel very defeated overall i'm sorry to hear that that's 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 sad news to hear that uh the the new british empire i guess is dissolving um but again it, that takes nothing away from adam's performance tonight he did great yep. and uh adam moving forward uh in the tournament is there anybody you'd like to to face or to see there's a lot of great players out there i'm just mm -hmm. i'm excited to get a little bit of a, a breather to be honest with you um and uh maybe watch a couple television shows for a change <laughs> um but no we'll we'll see what happens and uh yeah, uh, for a loss, uh, I, I I can deal with this. Sure. All right. Well, again, good luck to you in the tournament. Uh, 
Brooklyn, I'm sorry to hear you've been having a rough patch. Uh, hopefully things pick up for you and, you and you can recover and, you know, we'll see you again soon in some capacity. Uh, but I will shoot back now over to Tim at the desk. Uh, Tim, great match. What are your thoughts? Yeah, no, absolutely. It sucks when one person gets opponents and one gets spinners. Yeah. I know it's easy to feel defeated or easy to feel like you cheated a win or something that way, but um, that doesn't change the fact that they both played extremely well in round one. It was a close match. Um, and even with getting opponent's choice, Adam was able to make his way through that round really, really well. Uh, so overall, both players played extremely well. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in this title match with, uh, and then with Adam coming back in tournament time, watch out for him. Cause that dude, absolutely. Yeah. He's the scary stuff. Yeah. Yeah, two two players, Boatman and Adam, both with very fight, bright futures ahead of them. Uh, a lot of cool stuff going on for both those guys. Uh, but that's it for tonight. We got a title shot coming up. But until then, for Boatman, for Adam, Coho, Brooklyn, Tim, everybody else here at Warzone, uh, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Have a good night. Bring in the dancing dolphins. <laughs>